Hey guys, it's Jason here. Welcome to another episode of the Oak Mountain ACODs. Well, in today's video, we're gonna go after some big ash logs. Stick around. So if you've been watching some of our previous videos, guys, you'll recall that uh, one of our neighbors had this nice pile of hardwood up for us. They wanted to sell for firewood. We saw that uh, some of these trees probably had some nice logs in them. And uh, we actually have a customer that will buy logs from us. So we've pulled about one and a half cords of firewood off the pile so far. And now we're at the point where we've got to get the logs uh, cleaned up and moved so that we can get into the rest of the firewood. So today's the day for that. So a lot of these logs are well over 12 inches on the butt. We're probably gonna go for eight foot six logs here um, and try and get nice and straight uh, logs out of these trees. And uh, then I'm gonna ask you guys to help me out and see if my figures are correct because uh, I wanna make sure that I'm getting more out of these logs than I would get from firewood, but I wanna be fair to the customer as well. So let's see how we do with this. Okay guys, I was looking at the butts on these logs to make sure that there's no center rod or anything like that in them. They all look to be in really good shape. So the first thing I'm gonna do is grab uh, the Husqvarna chainsaw and I'm just gonna clean that up and get a nice uh, flush butt. And then we're gonna take some, uh, some measurements on it. We're gonna measure out eight foot six and we're gonna get our first log ready to go onto the Craneman trailer. Okay hey guys, you probably saw that my saw needs to be touched up a little bit. Um, this stuff was pulled out in the spring of the year and it's got a little bit of mud and some rock on it so I'm trying to clean that off as I go but after cutting up a cord and a half of it here last weekend I can tell that my saw needs to be touched up a little bit. But anyway, we've got, uh, what did we do? We did five trees so far. We've got them, you know, flush cut now. And we're just gonna check and see, this one's like a 16 inch butt. Now I know that when I measure out uh, and try and calculate how many board feet are in these that I have to measure on the small end, like on the top of it. And I know that I have to measure inside the bark to be fair to the buyer. But I just wanna get a feel for how big these trees are. So that one's about 16 inches. This one's 16 inches. This guy's 13. 12 and 14. So there's nothing there in those five trees that is uh, less than 12 inches on the butt. So they're pretty decent little logs for, uh, for our area. So now I'm gonna get the saw going again and I'm gonna measure eight foot six logs and cut them. 
and uh, then we're going to put them on the Craneman trailer. We'll put the small ends all facing to the back and we'll try and do some measurements and calculations and see how many board feet would be in these saw logs. Here we go. Okay guys, let's get the Kubota B2601 going and the Craneman hydraulic timber trailer and see if we can pick up the logs and get them on the trailer. They're pretty good sized logs. Let's see how the little uh, Craneman does.
Okay guys, apologize for the wind, but uh, I got this off of the internet. It's called the Doyle Log Scale. And basically, you can take the length of your tree, or your log, and the diameter of it on the, uh, on the small end, and uh, it should tell you the board feet that's in that log. So, I don't know if Karen zoomed in good here, but we're cutting eight foot, and let's say we have a 12 inch diameter top. There should be 32 board feet in that. So we're gonna take our little log crayon here, and we're gonna do some measurements inside the bark, and we're gonna write on what the scale tells us. Okay guys, so this is a pretty good little load on the Craneman timber trailer. Um, usually, when I'm loaded up to here, I say I have half a cord of firewood on. That's uh, my rule of thumb. So this should be hopefully half a cord of uh, eight foot logs. But let's see what we've got for diameter here. And I'm gonna go on the narrowest part of the log because some of them aren't uh, perfect. So that's 10 inch. So a 10 inch log at eight feet, there's 18 board feet in that one. 18. Okay, the next one, it's about nine and a half inches. We only go down to 10 inch, so maybe we won't even be able to sell this one. Um, but basically we'll put like 15 on that as an estimate. I don't know if that's close or not. That's a 10 inch, so that's 18. This one here inside is, it's 10 and a half, but we'll call it 10, 18. This guy is 12 inches, so that's 32 board feet. This one is just under 12 inches, but we'll go 11, just to be fair. So that's 24. I think if my math is right, on this, uh, this load of logs, there's 172 board feet according to that Doyle log scale and uh, I was conservative anywhere is where if something measured out ten and a half inches inside the bark I went ten inches just to be fair so 172 board feet everything I've been reading on the internet is saying that rule of thumb is there's 500 board feet in a cord of wood right so if we say the trailer will pull a half a cord that should be 250 board feet. We've got some air space. You know, we're not filled up on the sides. So we're at 170. We're pretty close to uh, those calculations. So now, uh, I'm interested to hear what you guys have to say in the comments. Do you think this is the right way to measure up these logs so that we can sell them? Do you use the Doyle log scale? And uh, what are you charging per board foot for your logs? Um, you know, worst case scenario, we're going to put these through the firewood processor and sell them as firewood for maybe 300 bucks a cord this year. Um, so if, if our buyer doesn't take the logs, we'll get the firewood out of it, right? Um, I've been looking around and I see ash boards, kiln dried ash boards selling for six, seven, eight dollars a board foot. I'm kind of thinking that we should be asking about two dollars a board foot for these logs. Um, and uh, and we'll see what the buyer says. We'll negotiate a little bit maybe, but uh, uh, we're gonna start at $2 a board foot and see how we do. Let me know if you think that's a fair price or way too much. All right guys, let's, uh, we're gonna take our time and head back to the wood yard, lay these down uh, on, some, on some trigs in the yard and contact the buyer.
Okay guys, so there's the first load back. That's eight logs. I think we said it was 172 board feet uh, that we measured out with the Doyle log scale. And I think we're gonna ask $2 a board foot. And uh, we can always go down, but once you set your price, you can't go up, right? So we're gonna start at two bucks a board foot and see where we end up. And uh, for us, worst case scenario, this will just go through the firewood processor anyway, and uh, we'll get close to $300 uh, for a quart of wood this year uh, with prices of fuel and everything up as high as they are, right? So that every all the other prices are going up, so our uh, firewood prices are going to go up as well to compensate. Anyway guys, if you like our videos and you want to see more of them, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, share our videos with your friends and family and help us grow our channel. And come on back and check on us often because you never know what the Oak Mountain ACOTs are going to be up to next. We'll see you in the next one, guys.